Hello everybody, um, so before I get into the, today's video, um, I would like to talk about my Discord, also I'd, I'd like to talk about my Instagram, um, if you want to join the Discord, the link will be in the description, and it'll also be in the, um, uh, the comments, uh, pinned comment, and same with my Instagram, so if you want to follow me there, go ahead, um, and if you like my videos, uh, make sure you like them, um so yeah also i'm really 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 exhausted uh i'm taking two antipsychotics taking 600 milligrams of seroquel and 42 milligrams of keplida if that's how you say it i'm not sure if that's how you say it but um yeah so today's video is going to be about uh experience in mental hospitals now i've only been in the mental hospital three times and i've been in uh i've been in uh ambulances three times for some reason i don't know if that's a thing in other places uh basically i would how it would go is i'd be having like a psychotic episode or something and my parent my parents would drive me to the er and I'd be freaking out and stuff. And then an ambulance would come and strap me down and take me to the to the place where I was going to be at, uh, which is a mental hospital. And um, that was terrifying for me because while I was kind of psychotic, I thought everybody was trying to kill me. So I thought the person driving the ambulance was going to just like drive into a pool of water or something and then i'm completely stuck dying and i was gonna die because i was like i was on a gurney or whatever the fuck the thing's called and um so i was freaking out that entire time i was in the ambulance for like 40 minutes or something and i was freaking out because i didn't want to die and i thought the ambulance driver was going to kill me and uh yeah so that's just a little bit of a uh, a little bit of um, a little bit of schizophrenia there for you. A little bit of psychotic episode. Um, and then when I this is the first time I'm talking about the first time when I got there, um, I had to talk to them about a bunch of shit I don't remember. Um, basically what what happened, like what was going on, and uh, I was having panic attacks and I was psychotic. So they were like, okay. Um, I think I got my blood work done or something, I think, once, or, I don't really remember, it's been so long, because the first time I was in the mental hospital, I was 14 or 15, I think, and uh, I didn't have a diagnosis yet of anything, and uh, basically I had no idea what the hell was going on, and I was, like, really freaked out over being in a mental hospital, because I'd never been in one, and, you know, it's kind of freaky being in one, um, the first time and the second time were both horrible experiences. Horrible. Um, I feel like they just don't know how to deal with uh, mentally ill people. Or like people with schizophrenia, for example. Because on my first time, I don't know if I was on antipsychotics yet. And what they did while I was there, and I was there for like seven days, seven, eight, nine days, I think. First time I was there, they put me on the max dose of uh, Risperdone, Risperidol, and uh, let's just say it did not work very well with my body. I'm going to be completely honest here. Putting someone on the max dose of Risperidol, the first time you're in there, I was a walking zombie, actually. Like, I could not walk. I could barely see. My vision was just all fucked up. I couldn't see. I was, like, basically blind. And, um, that was horrible. And I was like, guys, guys, I need to not be on this because this is the worst feeling I've ever had in my life. This is just, like, totally abysmal. And I was, uh, I don't remember if they took me off it or if I stayed on it. Maybe I, I stayed on it, but was on a lower dose, I think. And what Risperdal did to me 
was it co completely killed my sex drive. Um, I would go more into this, but I don't really want to get too graphic because, you know, what's the fuck, what the fuck's the point? I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about anyways, if you've been on these drugs before. But uh, some things won't work properly, as they should, I'll say that. And um, that's what Risperdal did to me. Uh, I think that was the only drug that really ever did that to me. So they would always ask me, the nurses would be like, how's your libido? And I'd be like, I don't know. Uh, good, I guess. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, the first time, it felt like I was in prison. Honestly, like these, uh, these mental hospitals make it feel like you're in prison. They really do. And be mainly because you're in a room by yourself. It's all white. There's nothing in the room. Not a TV. Nothing. You're not allowed to have strings on your shoes. So they give you these special socks and shoes. I don't even know if they gave you shoes. I think they just gave you socks. Um, and when what I was wearing was like pajamas at the time. So these strings had to be taken out. So I couldn't have strings in my uh, pants I was wearing. So I was like, okay, it's that serious, huh? And... Um, which I understand because somebody who is suicidal will try to hurt themselves or something like that. But at the time, I was not suicidal. I was just psychotic and I was losing it. And my parents told them before, like while I was in there, my parents told them he is a really difficult sleeper. Really difficult. And he has a hard time sleeping. Um, he sleeps in a really weird ways. And and the nurses was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. We've dealt like we've dealt with people like that before. And uh, then when uh, I woke up in the morning, I think the nurses called my parents saying, "Holy shit! Like what? That is the worst thing I've ever experienced with someone like sleeping. Because what I would do was I don't like doors being open, and they'd always want the door to be open." And I'm not a big fan of that at all. So when I was, I was so out of it, I guess. And my parents told me this because I don't even remember it. Um, what I would do is I would take, I took the mattress off the bed. And then I would um, lay it on top of me. And that's how I would try to sleep for a bit. And then I realized apparently uh, this ain't, this ain't going to work. So what they kept doing, they kept opening my door. And I was like, guys, you got to close the door. So what I did is I laid, I laid right up, right up against the door with the mattress on me. <laughs> so, it's so it's so strange. I'm, I don't know. And I did that and they were like trying to get in and stuff. And I was like, I can't, I can't have the door open. I just can't. Um, so they like forced me to, you know, get off the door. And then I tried sleeping on a windowsill. Just sleeping on a windowsill with nothing. No blanket, no fucking, no mattress. Just tried sleeping on the windowsill. And I don't remember how I went to sleep, to be honest. Um, and the people in there, the other patients in there, are they patients or whatever? Are they uh, people who are mentally ill who are also in there were, were great? You know, I didn't really talk to anybody because I'm kind of a very antisocial person. But, uh... The second, let's talk about the second time I went. The second time I went was due to panic attacks and psychotic episode again. And, um, there's not much really to say about the second time. It was pretty much the same thing. Um, uh, honestly, there's nothing really different. Just felt like prison. Same thing over and over again. So I won't talk too much about the second time because there's, there was no change really. Um, the third time now was a lot different. Third time, I don't even know if I was on any antipsychotics at this point. Maybe that's probably why I was in the mental hospital. The reason I was going in the mental hospital the third time was because of compulsions and voices telling me to harm myself or others. And it was very, very strong. And it was very, it's something I couldn't shake. I, I couldn't just like stop thinking about it or just be like, hey, not today. I'm not, not, I'm not dealing with this today. So I went, um... So I went there because of that reason. I didn't want to hurt myself and I didn't want to hurt anybody else. So I went there. I wasn't allowed to have a roommate because of the, 
you know, voices and the thoughts I was having. So, uh, yeah. And what they did, um, this time was a lot better. Because in my room, I had a TV. You know, I could watch TV. My room, mm -hmm. I, had, I had a room all by myself, which was great because I don't really want to be roommates mm -hmm. with someone I don't know. And, uh, you know, shitting in the same place someone else is shitting. I don't know. I don't like that. Uh, it's weird. But uh, they put me on Seroquel there. And every day you go up at nighttime and everybody gets in line and take your meds. And at this point, I was on 50 milligrams of Seroquel. And um, I was up for a bit because it wasn't time to go to sleep yet. And uh, I was just all of a sudden I started feeling really, really tired really tired like i can't keep my eyes open i was thinking like what the fuck is this did someone poison me or something because i was never on an antipsychotic that made me that that, that gave me that effect to make me extremely sleepy i'd never had that before and um that freaked me out so i went to sleep woke up i still felt super groggy super everything and they asked me hey are you still hallucinating are you still experiencing all these things i was like yes so they bumped me up to a hundred. I was like, okay, I'll take a hundred. Um, and, uh, the people in there were hilarious. Like there was this one kid in there that, uh, every time, well, he was like, uh, he should have been in jail, but he was in the mental hospital for a bit for some reason. And, uh, every time a new guy would come in to the mental hospital, he would fight them. I don't know why. But, uh, that was interesting. I saw one fight, which is interesting. I enjoy just spectating, seeing things. Uh, he was real cool with me. I liked him. He was a really cool guy. And he had, he, I think he had bipolar. And, um, yeah, he fought everyone that was in there. I don't know why. And he, uh, he liked me. I was cool with him. He never tried to fight me or anything like that. And, um, the other people in there were real cool, um, I don't really want to go into the details with 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 uh, stuff that other stuff that happened. I will say this though: another guy in there who was really mentally in a bad spot um, was like shitting on the walls. Well, no, not shitting on the walls, but he was like shitting and like rubbing it all over the walls, and uh, he would, you know, pleasure himself in front of everybody. I'll just say that nicely, um, and that experience was interesting so a lot more interest interesting than just feeling like you're in a prison cell and you're you're like a mental like i, don't, I just don't like the i don't know we should be mental mentally ill people should be treated like humans yes we're going through something that a lot of people don't go through but we should not be treated like some animal honestly it's still like that today and um they do honestly treat us like treat us like animals. So that guy who was doing that, which obviously not a good thing to do, but I mean he's mentally he was really mentally fucked, and he was in the padded room for I don't know how long days until at least he was leaving I think, and um, it was cool because uh, they made us do some like uh, group act group activities which I wasn't too fond of at the time where I, we would sing or play a different instrument. I didn't know how to play an instrument, but I can sing pretty decently. So yeah, I did that. Um, the third time did not feel like prison. It just felt like everyone together was having a good time. You know, it just felt good. And I wasn't like waiting to leave. Um, Cause the other two times it was like, time was going so slow to where it's like, holy shit, I need to get out of here ASAP. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my mind more than my mind is already lost. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's about it, really, um, of all these experiences I had in mental hospitals. Um, I've had good and bad experiences in mental hospitals, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, trying to think if anything else crazy has happened. But, I mean, I don't know. I, oh, yeah, that, that kid who would fight people all the time, all the time. And when people would come in with a, uh, he was going crazy one day. Like, I don't know what was wrong with him. He was so pissed off. So they literally gave him a shot in the ass 
to keep calm him down and sleep. I don't know what shot they gave him, but he was out for like two days. And then he came back and he was like, I have no idea what the fuck they gave me. But I was out for two days. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. But anyways, yeah, mental hospitals are great. They're loads of fun. Loads of fun. But honestly, they do help. I, I do think they help. Because when I was having a psychotic episode, um, I felt oddly kind of safe. I felt, uh, I felt like I belonged there for the moment. And I felt like me being there helped me in the moment. Because people around me knew what was going on. And they knew how to talk to me. They knew how to um, deal with it, you know. Uh, and I was really messed up that, that time, the third time I went, I was really messed up. I remember I was, uh, I had a blanket over me and, um, uh, I just was walking. I was pacing up and down in the main room for like three hours. And I was like, uh, I was like humming because that, uh, that helps me like kind of relax a bit, I think. So I was just pacing up and down for like three hours, just humming. And that did help a little bit. I do do that, like, if I'm going through, like, something psychotic, I like to walk around and just try to do something that, you know, will calm me down a bit, because I do get very, very angry when I'm, when I'm having a psychotic episode, and I don't want to harm myself when I usually do have a psychotic episode, I do harm myself, uh, by punching myself or whatever, but yeah, that's about it for this video, guys, uh, hope you enjoy, like the video if you like it, join my Discord if you want to, Follow me on Instagram if you want to, and I will see you guys soon, probably. Bye, everybody.